Okay, we're gonna do is gonna show you how to pick these crabs today. We're gonna start with one. We're gonna show you the difference first and foremost between the two types of crabs we sell here at Crab Corner Southwest. So, and at the, uh, the east side location. So we'll start off with two fresh steamed blue crabs flown in every day. Um, this one right here is gonna be your male crab. This one's gonna be your female crab. A lot of the differences that people look for, and you can tell the difference in these crabs, is actually by the bottom, by what we call the apron. So this is the male crab. It can kind of look like, it's a, for those who want to cheat and don't know much about it, you can actually tell the two crabs apart by this one looking like the Washington Monument and this one looking like the Washington Capitol. So you have two different options on these guys. This would be the female crab, this would be the male crab. Now a lot of people would ask, why would you sell female crabs? Well, we have a couple different options because these guys are, have already mated once. They're called sooks or sookies. So we don't take any of the virgin crabs because that would be hurting and depleting our source. Uh, we wouldn't want to do that. So the female crabs that have mated are able to be uh, harvested and we keep the ones that haven't in the water and we keep them going for uh, for future use for later on for for providing more baby crabs for us to steam up so you have that and then you have the males a lot of people traditionally from Maryland won't eat the male crabs because they say the meat tastes different or that it has more meat in it or anything else there's a lot of different options with it. a lot of a lot of hearsay what people complain they, they make different options they, they rave about it but in actuality the meat is pretty much the same and you really can't tell so if you were able to, to pull the two up side by side and tell them you'd be a better man than me after 18 years in the business, it'd be a tough thing to tell the difference. So what we'll do is we're gonna show you start by picking them apart. And for, for the first one, we're gonna use the male crab. So let's put our female back over here. You can see our, our spice we have down. This is authentic Maryland crab spice we bring in from Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, it's made right in town in Baltimore and then shipped out to us right here in Vegas because there's not too many crab places out here. We're the only one as far as I know. Um, it actually has real spice and real seasoning and real fresh crabs. So what we'll do with this guy is we'll actually pick off this little piece of seaweed there, so we know it's fresh. Um, and then we'll actually remove his legs. So this will be the first part, the two pinchers, the two legs right here. So we're gonna break that off and we'll make a little pile right here in the center. Okay, and we're gonna pick those. So we're not gonna throw them away, we're just gonna move them to the side. Then we have the actual body itself. We can flip this over again, looking at it, this is our male crab. So we're gonna take off his legs, the rest of them. And we'll make a little pile of those. Now as you take them off, you have a little piece of meat that comes out. This is the most desirable part of the crab. This is actually the back fin. So this is where you have people, when they look at crab cakes that are on menus and on sandwiches, it says a, uh, a back fin lump crab meat. This is that back fin right here. This is the swimmer fin where the crab has the most muscle and then it relates to actually the biggest piece of meat that comes out for you to be able to eat. So that's the most desirable and you can pick that as you're going. Just take a peek um, and then pull it off with your teeth. You'll actually see there's actually some tendon in there right in the center. So you wanna pull that off, but not get all the way uh, to where you pull those pieces off. Otherwise, it'll feel like you have a little piece of plastic in your mouth. You don't wanna do that, you just want the meat. So you leave that guy there, we'll put that to the side. You actually have these small swimmer legs. These are the legs that the crab walks around with. Now, this is a swimmer, you have these small legs that the crab walks around with and he holds stuff with. So you're gonna pull those off as well and make another pile of those. You just rip those from the body and separate them over here, put them to the side. Okay, you do the same thing on the other side. Back fin, place that guy there, and the two other legs, or three other legs from the body. Okay, we'll put that there. Okay, perfect. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna flip the crab over, you look at it with the with the apron facing you, and you take your crab knife, and you're gonna pry that little apron up. So I'll do it for the camera this way. You'll pull that up until you can get it hold it with your finger, and then you snap this off. And you're gonna break off these two pieces right here, so with the use of to, uh, to mate with, so you're gonna remove those. You're not gonna eat those, they go to the side. And you take this and move it over here. You set the crab up, and it's real important to put your two fingers. A lot of people come in here and they actually try to hit the crab at this point with a hammer, which is completely wrong. You're gonna squish the crab, you're gonna squish the meat, and it makes it a lot harder to pick when you actually do it like that. So the best thing you do is leave this to the side. You only use that for your, for your legs, and we're gonna show you how to pick those in just a minute. But you take your knife at this point if you need it, rip off that apron, put your knife to the side, and then you're going to stand the crab up on its face, what we call the face, which would be this guy here. And you put your two fingers right here where you pulled those two back fins out. And you grab this right here from the shell, and you're going to separate it, just like so. Okay? So it opens very easily when you do it like that. So no sense in smashing it, just open it up. Okay? This is the, the meat right here, or the, uh, the top of the shell. If there's any, we call mustard in there. People like that. That's how you can tell the crab is fresh. If it's nice yellow, it's got a greenish tint to it. It's equivalent to what people would consider like liver in a... In, um, 
in a crab. So it's it's delicious. People like that, you can tell how fresh the crab is. Ours is always filling in fresh every day, uh, the night before, so you can you can enjoy whatever the best of the crab has to offer. Also, if you look, you can kind of see the remnants as well of when this guy just let it shed his last skin. So when you see a soft crab, this is actually his his shell getting ready to come out for his new shell he's getting ready to create here. So you can tell when the crab is fresh as well. This crab is fresh as can be, and about ready to pop for a shell and change out to a bigger one, okay? So we'll take this and we'll throw it to the side. And you actually have your, your back fin, actual pieces where you pick the best meat from. On this guy here, you're gonna rip off these pieces on the front. This is the mouth of the face. So you just pick it up with one hand, hold it, and then snap these pieces off and put those to the side. That's not needed, so you're not gonna eat those. Then you have these, these parts right here, these are gills or like lungs on the, on the crab. This is what allows it to breathe. So you're gonna take these guys and rip those off with a knife or your fingers. You just take that and put it to the side. And the same thing on this side. A lot of people think that might be meat, but you're not gonna eat that. It's like gills on a fish. So you wouldn't eat that if you were eating fish. You don't eat that on a crab either. So take that and throw it out there. Some people call them devil's fingers, a bunch of different names. Then you actually have like the entrails with the innards of the crab. You can remove that out. You can use either end of the knife, but you just wanna separate that from the body and knock that out as well. That just goes to the side, okay? So you take at this point, what I do is I just kinda of tap it on the table. Anything excess will come out. For the people that like that mustard, that fresh kind of egg, you can enjoy that if you want, or you can just push to the side. You can actually finish by cleaning the crab off, just getting rid of anything else you're not gonna eat. And what you're doing now is to prep it, so when you do start eating, none of that stuff's in the way. So you turn this crab towards you, the mouth, mouth towards you, you bend in and you bend out. That'll separate the two pieces and you're gonna work on one side at a time. So you can see already I've got some good meat in here, which is actually the back fin meat, and it's actually the body meat, which is uh, your, your inside of your crab where you're gonna get that best meat out of where those, those muscles come from the legs. So you separate this, put one piece to the side, and you start by removing all these old pieces of meat. And that's the stuff you're actually gonna eat. That's your best part of the meat, your back fin and your lump crab meat. So this guy here, you're gonna bend this and you're gonna, you're gonna squeeze it when you're ready. You're just gonna squish it a little bit and you'll feel it break in your hand, but not enough to squish it all the way. Cause if you do, then the meat will come out. You'll get all over the place and you'll have a bunch of those shells in there. What you wanna do is bring this so it's actually squeezed and then you break it one more time and butterfly it. Now, if you do that properly, you'll get to separate in the, into four sections and you'll actually be able to have the ability to pull the meat right out. So at this point, if you do that right, you can just kind of flick it with your thumb, it comes right on out. And you can get all those good pieces of meat that you're looking for when you're, when you're eating steamed blue crabs. So this right here would be the fastest way to pick it. I'm just gonna clean all that off. And when you're done with each section or little quadrant, it should look like that, pretty much clean. It's opaque, you can see right through it. And that's what you're looking for. That's a clean piece of um, of crab shell and you throw that to the side you're not going to use that anymore and then these guys here the same thing just pull those off look out for those tendons make sure you get that out and then just kind of pull the pieces of meat out as you go for these little pieces that are like the the legs which is the knuckles just kind of break those off and put those to the side and then if you break this little tip off right here right through here just kind of snap that off with your finger and then you can kind of cheat a little bit and just squeeze it like that, and you'll pull these pieces of meat out. You can get most of it out at that point if you really want to get into it, and you can get it pretty clean, but when it's all said and done, you want to have that nice piece of plasticky looking thing where you get all that meat out of it, right? So that's the shell, that's done, you move that to the side. So you have a lot of this meat here, which it adds up when you have these pieces of leg to go with it, another piece of back fin. That's what you see in all our crab cakes. We pick this painlessly every day for you guys to enjoy your crab cakes. We can do the same thing, but you can have them fresh to order here. So same thing there, I'll do this one a little quicker. We'll just roll through this, put this aside like that, and then I squeeze it again, separate it again, unfold those pieces of meat. And if you're patient enough, you can sit there and make a pile of it, or you can put it in your favorite dipping sauce. Or if you're like me, you just eat as you're going. And most people can sit down and eat a bunch of these in, I don't know, probably about a dozen in about 45 minutes to an hour if you take your time. But eating crabs is a very social thing. You're gonna sit around and tell stories and talk and visit with each other. So you're not coming in necessarily to get full quick off it. If you are, then you can come in and have our crab cake. You can just enjoy all this meat picked out for you already. And then you don't have to do any of the work. So we're happy to do that for you too, here at Crab Corner Southwest. So we'll take that, dump that down. I'm gonna show you the last couple parts here is on the legs. People always think there's a misnomer, there's no meat in these guys. There is, it's actually some of the best meat in the crab is actually in the crab legs. So you have a couple different options. On your bigger crabs, it gets a little bit easier to pick, but you still have a nice little piece of meat that comes out of these as well. So let's clean this out so you can see what I mean. Move that to the side. 
Okay, on these guys, you can actually break the leg right past the knuckle, and then just kind of twist it back and forth like that, just a little crack there, and then pull with your hand. If you, once you get a hang of it, it'll come right out. That's a nice little piece of meat, you pour it off of that. So discard that, and then you take that little piece of meat and set it here. That leg meat is actually what you see in a lot of soups, or we put in our crab soup, has a lot of flavor. Um, and then it's also a little bit different colored. So for a traditional good crab cake, you're gonna see in a lump crab cake, you're gonna see that white meat. For your soups, you're gonna want this dark meat. It's kind of like dark chicken. Same thing as what you put in there, has more flavor to it, but presents better when you do a crab cake. So this is good for our soups. We put it in all of our, uh, all of our other dishes that require crab meat. So in this also, you can break it right past this knuckle and get one more piece of small meat once you get into it. You move it a little quicker, and then one right here as well. So you just kind of squeeze that with your finger. That's how I did that. Pull out that tendon, grab that little piece of meat, and you keep going. Now if you're doing it on the quick side of it, you can do it like this. Just get roll through it. That guy, you squeeze it right there, it pops right out. This guy here, squeeze it, comes right out. Big piece of meat right there. And then the last one, the swimmer leg, there's actually one more knuckle inside here as well. You don't want to miss because this is also a big, big piece of meat that's inside there. Break it right past the knuckle and then pull that out. You'll get a little piece that comes right out. If you don't, you just kind of squeeze that guy there and it comes right out. But this one was very fortunate to work with us and popped right out of it, okay? So this is this is our meat that comes from the crab body. This is about half of the crab. So it's a nice little portion of meat you can get out of that per crab. This is our smaller ones. As you get bigger, you have more meat and less picking. On this one here, I'm gonna show you how to do the last part, which is the crab legs. Um, this is where you come up with your pinchers and your, your meat that comes out of these guys. So you don't want to throw these out. There's a lot of good meat inside these. So for these, you have two of them in each crab. Make sure they all come fresh. So for this one, I'm going to show you how to pick these. I'm going to separate it first at the knuckle, just like a king crab or snow crab. So for the blue crab, you just break it right there and then pull that piece apart. You actually get a nice piece of meat that comes right out of that. It looks like dark meat, but it tastes very similar to the back fin. It's actually got a ton of flavor in it. So you put that right there. And then we use our traditional Maryland crab spices to steam everything from the outside um, and let the flavor of the crab kind of cook in itself. A lot of people will use uh, boils that are from down south and it actually cooks inside and they, they want to boil the crab. For us, we don't want to hide any of that flavor. We want to we want to accentuate it and show it. So for us, we just want to do anything with it except for just cook the outside and let those flavors cook of the crab in itself. So on this side, you have two pieces of, to break. This would be your pincher. So you take this guy, and this is where you use the hammer. Everybody's been waiting to use the hammer. So you take this one, you actually hit it on the top, just enough to break it, but not shoot it all over your neighbor. Okay? And you're gonna crack that shell, throw that to the side, and you'll separate the two of those. And remember, you have that tendon inside there. You do it properly. Just remove all those pieces of meat. You have that nice piece of meat right there. And then you just pull that off with your fingers or with your teeth. You have just that left, throw that in your pile. Okay, so on the other side, you have the back side of the leg, which is right here. This guy is going to tap it again the same way, separates, and then take the piece of meat out of it. This one, we got a lot of it come out on the leg, so smaller piece there. Let's see if we do this one a little bit faster. Okay, piece right there. Set this leg up, give it a little tap, and then pull the meat apart, the shell, clean it up, get your nice little crab leg there. Okay, one more to go. And this one here, last piece of meat. So you can see how we did it today. There's a couple different things at Crab Corner. If you have any questions, please come out and we'll show you ourselves. And don't be afraid. Um, there's somebody, some happy staff always here to show you. And uh, you can take this guy and turn him into this. So enjoy yourself and come see us at Crab Corner Southwest and give it a shot. Thank you.